The Hundred Years' War on Palestine is a book written by Rashid Khalidi, a prominent historian and academic specializing in Middle Eastern history. The book provides a comprehensive historical analysis of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, spanning over a century from the late 19th century to the present day. In this summary, we will delve into the key themes, historical events, and perspectives presented in Khalidi's work. Historical Background The book begins by setting the historical context, tracing the roots of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict to the late 19th century. At this time, Palestine was part of the Ottoman Empire, and both Jewish and Arab communities coexisted, although with tensions. The first Jewish immigrants arrived with the Zionist movement, which aimed to establish a Jewish homeland in Palestine. Zionism and the Balfour Declaration Khalidi explores the impact of Zionism, a political and cultural movement that gained momentum in Europe in the early 20th century. The Balfour Declaration of 1917, issued by the British government during World War I, supported the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. This marked a significant turning point, leading to increasing Jewish immigration and tensions with the Arab population. Mandatory Palestine After World War I, the League of Nations granted Britain the mandate over Palestine. Under British rule, tensions between Jewish and Arab communities escalated. The book delves into the various political, economic, and social factors that contributed to these tensions and the increasing violence. The 1947 UN Partition Plan Khalidi analyzes the United Nations 1947 Partition Plan, which recommended the division of Palestine into separate Jewish and Arab states, with Jerusalem under international administration. The plan was accepted by Jewish leaders but rejected by Arab states and Palestinian Arabs. This marked the beginning of the First Arab-Israeli War. The Nakba the book extensively covers the events of 1948, known as the Nakba, catastrophe, from the Palestinian perspective. It discusses the displacement of hundreds of thousands of Palestinian Arabs as a result of the war, the establishment of the State of Israel, and the ongoing refugee crisis. The 1967 Six-Day War Khalidi analyzes the 1967 Six-Day War which resulted in Israel's occupation of the West Bank, Gaza Strip, East Jerusalem, and the Golan Heights. He discusses the lasting consequences of this war on the Palestinian territories and the region as a whole. Palestinian Resistance and International Diplomacy The book explores the various forms of Palestinian resistance, including armed struggle, diplomacy, and international solidarity efforts. Khalidi examines the rise of the Palestine Liberation Organization, PLO, and its changing strategies over time. Peace Process and Oslo Accords Khalidi discusses the peace process in the 1990s and the Oslo Accords, which aimed to establish a framework for resolving the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. He provides a critical perspective on the limitations of these agreements and their impact on Palestinian rights and statehood. The Second Intifada and Beyond The book covers the outbreak of the Second Intifada in 2000, a period of intensified Palestinian protests and Israeli military actions. Khalidi also addresses the challenges of negotiating a two-state solution and the ongoing expansion of Israeli settlements in the West Bank. The Gaza Strip Khalidi explores the situation in the Gaza Strip, a densely populated area that has faced severe economic, humanitarian, and political challenges, including the rise of Hamas, an Islamist group. The Trump Era and the Abraham Accords The book examines the policies of the Trump administration, which recognized Jerusalem as Israel's capital and proposed a peace plan that was largely seen as one-sided. It also discusses the Abraham Accords, normalization agreements between Israel and some Arab states. Challenges to a two-state solution Khalidi highlights the challenges to achieving a two-state solution, including the proliferation of Israeli settlements, issues related to refugees' rights, and the division among Palestinian political factions. Conclusion and the Path Forward the book concludes by emphasizing the importance of understanding the historical context and complexities of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. 
Khalidi argues for a just and equitable resolution that addresses the rights and aspirations of both Palestinians and Israelis. This book serves as a valuable resource for anyone seeking to understand the history and ongoing dynamics of this deeply entrenched and complex conflict. I'll be posting new book summaries, so be sure to subscribe.